My name is Bruno Dan. I come from the west side of Australia and I do my bush product from there. There's so much bush tech out there I wish to share with everyone. Australian native plant foods have been grown in extremely challenging conditions. The Australian environment is very dry and harsh and as a consequence these native plant foods have had to produce a whole lot of amazing phytonutrients which are excellent for human health but also have very different and distinctive flavour qualities. So the type of products that we are involved in the project we have divided them into different groups. For example the native fruits we will be looking at kakadu plum, green plum, verdigan plum and then we look at the native herbs and spices, and then native seeds. So we're analyzing the food samples, looking for nutrients, vitamins, there anything special in these native samples. We're also doing studies and actually proving the bioavailability of these compounds in healthy humans. So what I bring to the training center is I'm really aiming to bring a chemical engineering perspective to many of the products and processes that are going to be looked at within the uniquely Australian food space. And really that can come from both the processing angle but also the consumer product angle is when you start to taste and experience foods. We will be also working on what is known as innovative technologies. So for example, the Honey Project, we'll look at a patented technology which Australia has created and that would be a uniquely Australian product. With the growth of the human population, we're going to run into a protein shortage. Now, there's just not going to be enough red meat to feed everyone, so we've got to start looking at alternatives. Why not indigenous kangaroo and other indigenous meat types? And the idea is to look at how can we add value to these meat products to actually make them part of the Australian experience. So we're looking for anything where we can say uniquely Australian really does mean that, that it is impossible for other countries to uh, replicate what we can do here. And at the same time, we'll be also working on developing a branding and marketing strategy, so trademarks, collective marks, for uh, the, the industry to protect and ensure that what is uniquely Australian remains within the control of uniquely Australian organisations. My role in the training centre will be to work uh, with the community groups. I'm very interested in how we can work effectively in a real partnership and real collaboration, so how the scientists can work effectively with the Indigenous groups. The main areas we're focused on will be access and benefit sharing arrangements which will be used to ensure that the collection and use of the native materials is done in an ethically and sustainable fashion. Doing what we're trying to do, it's going to create local jobs for local people on country. Um, there's very little development out there on country. Um, so, in other words, there's no opportunities to gain employment. For the enterprise, it's a regional economic development, so it's actually um, helping the community to um, be self-sustainable and um, to rely on their bush food to actually give them some money as well. Research, in a way, is a bridge between what we know and how we can use that in a commercial and contemporary context. It gives us the opportunity to look at creating not only subsistence farming, but also commercial opportunity so it can create an income from something that has always been of economic value to us as well as culturally. The Aboriginal people have been researchers for thousands of years through in innovation and testing things. So it's uh, innate, I guess, in the way that Aboriginal people um, are. Scientifically research, it's very good for us because we know what we're selling. It is healthy and it's, it is um, that we actually grew up with that same food as well. So it's actually much more better if we do have the scientists backing us up with our fruits as well. What bush tucker means to our community is not only a way of maintaining our responsibilities and our custodial responsibilities to country, but it also means that we are able to continue to enjoy the nutritional benefits of the food that is actually more suited to our biology. It also enables us to pass on cultural knowledge uh, onto the next generation about how we are responsible for those plant species. Because the bush is so delicate and it's got a lot to offer, a lot to give. Either you can hold it to yourself or you can give it and share it and there's an awful lot to do but it's, when you really look at it, it's really worth it.